Merhaba arkadaşlar. Kaldığımız yerden devam ediyoruz. İyi seyirler. Yine kafa bir milyon herhalde. Alsa da yine de şişe ama yine de bardakla geziyor. Tam alkolik olduk ya. Suikası uğramıyor mu? Abi dinlenmeyi hak ediyor yani. Gerçi yine ben o konuşmanın içindeydik ama Burası hayal kabus gibi bir şey herhalde. Yine bu olaylar olacak yani. Yine başımız belada. The dead guys looked like soldiers in one of those Central American guerrilla armies. Pirates with a manifesto. Psychos with a dream. That sort of bullshit. The radio. Maybe I could send out an SOS. It certainly wasn't the first time I'd woken up with a hangover long after a party had turned sour. <coughs> need to get out of the boat's hull and onto the upper deck as soon as possible was countered by the probability of running into another hijacker. I had to move carefully. the second I got out of there. I needed one more gulp of fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feeds. Move, Max. There wasn't much air left. Come on, Max. I 
I shut down one engine, but it didn't make much. Ah, The fire was sucking oxygen from the room. I didn't care if I got shot the second I got out of there. I needed one more gulp of fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feeds. Move, Mac. I shut down one engine, but it didn't make much difference. Okay. Ah, no. What the? I saw him. There. Oh, I can breathe again. Now the boat could get back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed. I'll just stay out. second I got out of there. I needed one more gulp of fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feeds. Move, Max. I shut down one engine, but it didn't make much difference. <laughs> There. I could breathe again. Now the boat could get back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas and greed. Sen vardı ya arkadaşlar ona benziyor. Neyse ne? So this was the famous Panama Canal. We could have gone to the moon while I was passed out and I wouldn't have noticed. This is enough. It was a different scene than the one I stumbled away from. Where was everyone? I still didn't know what the hell happened. I didn't like to think what was behind the door. The boat was well appointed. Önce içeride bir şey yapalım istiyorum. Şuna. Aynen buraymış. Bu oyun efsane ya. Gerçekten çok güzelmiş. Önce de bunu niye oynama oynamamış? <gülüyor> Yarıda bıraktım onu. Öyle atıp koydum. The guys up ahead weren't dealing with passengers like the rest of them. 
Maybe I should have realized then that this was no ordinary kidnap job. Something on the boat had attracted the sharks. Nerede geliyor bu ses? Şurada sanırım. Miguel! Beni bırakın! Bunun çatına böyle çatar. There was something firing these guys other than good old fashioned socialist zeal. What were they looking for? Resmen pusu kurmuşlar bize. Şurada açık gibi boş. Matelo! Yine ben seni indirirdim öyle. Gel gel. Dört mermi bitti. Hadi gel. Göster o zaman. on a ghost ship in a ghost canal. The whole thing creeped me the hell out.
Valla iyi saklanıyor. Bir anda çıkıyor şimdi. Anca Ender! Esen bir yer kur! Bir iki dakika da öldürüyorlar. Sonra hani öldük mü tam bir, bir şey yavaşlama oluyor ondan sonra canımızı, canımızın çoğalması şeyi yok. The pirates wouldn't ha, get everything. Bunu al bakalım. Anca anca! Esen bir yer ölmemiz gerekiyor bak öldük ondan sonra canımız şey çoğalma geldi aç aç They didn't help with my sea legs, but they sure as shit felt good.
Maybe there was something on the bridge. I checked every other inch of the boat. I spotted Passos and Marcelo. If I'd known back then that they'd been up to no good while I was fighting my way through a band of violent paramilitaries and a worse hangover, I might not have wanted to get over to them so bad. Hey, Passos! At the time, I hadn't thought too much about this. I hadn't thought too much about anything. Now I remember it, it didn't seem quite so kosher. What about, what's her name? Daphne. I do whatever you think is best. I think it's best we try to go find her. Yeah, okay, let's go. Nah. See, I didn't think Passos was a bad guy. He didn't need to try to save this woman or the crew. Through here. Didn't realize you knew your way around here. They were using that building to get across the canal. Some equipment in the truck next to me. It'd be a shame to see it go to waste. We can get across up top. Who's <laughs> that? <laughs> reason why they're going across the canal. So, I don't know what I expected to find on a boat full of drunks and bullshit artists. I'd been the cabaret act. Shooting whatever came in front of me was easier than coming to terms with that reality. No me mate, no
Monstro será tão legal. Sim. Chuda. That looked like the way up, but it was locked. I had to find a switch. What to do? There was probably a control console behind the desk. It was nice to see a friendly face in Panama. My own private welcoming party. I blocked out all my questions. All I thought about was getting to Daphne Bernstein before it was... Americans had a long and checkered history of involvement in Panama. This was my sorry chapter, for what it's worth. Fuck, man. This is brutal. I didn't think things would be like this. I should have jumped in that goddamn canal myself and swum my way back to New York. Let me ask you again, Max. What do you think you were really doing in Panama? I was drinking. People died. Innocent people. Who do you think robbed you? I don't know. I was told it was 
People who dislike Daphne Bernstein, something about an unpleasant divorce. Her ex-husband worked on Wall Street. Do you think he has easy access to Panamanian death squads? I guess I didn't really think about it. <clears throat> you were smuggling something, weren't you? No, no, no. I mean, I didn't realize it at the time. I, I didn't think too much about it, but yes. Marcelo did drive off with something. I don't know what. I didn't see him until we got to Brazil a week or so later. I think it was money. I think Marcelo and Victor have a friendly banker there in Panama. Your little cruise was to deliver the cash to him because there it's easier to launder. But I thought the Broncos were rich. How he goes rich. The other two, they live well, but they don't have real money. Victor's campaigns were always financed by his brother. That is the way among certain rich families there. The eldest brother is the king. He gets everything. The other two, not so much. And now Rodrigo's dead. Exactly. And Marcelo, too. It's an awful tragedy for Victor, huh? A man running on a law and order ticket, you know, whose brothers have both been killed in such terrible circumstances. A true patriot. What about Marcelo? Marcelo. Marcelo was an idiot. Were this true, I certainly don't believe he could possibly have known about it. But I do believe some other scheme, you know, some other bullshit. Whatever that cash was, Victor could have talked him into something. I don't know yet. And Passos? Well, Passos is a bum ex-cop. Failed in America. Failed in Sao Paulo. He was surrounded by more money and more poverty than his tiny little head can handle. You think guys like that can't be bought? No, but if... But nothing. He's probably not a bad guy. He's just a man caught in the crossfire of a very rich family. What about me? You. You're the fall guy. The American. Running around, acting like the action hero. Killing lots of people. <laughs> You're a stroke of genius. That ain't how it is. You were an angry ex-cop. You were sitting in a bar with a history of violence and a history of a bad temper. You were perfect. Me and Passos went to the academy together. Did you? I don't fucking know. <clears throat> okay, let's take a drive, Max. Want to do some good? Hmm? Want to get yourself killed in a good cause? Then I need you to check something out for me. Like what? That incident at the favela today. Now, some of my officers say a bus drove off some captives. They did, I saw it. But no captives were ever booked. They probably handed them off to the paramilitary death squads, the, uh... Casa Preto? Right. Who did? I don't know, the cops. The other cops, the cops who shoot on sight. The Ufe. Right. Max, you see that building there? The Imperial Palace Hotel? Yeah, that's what it says. People go in there in large groups under armed guard, but it isn't a police station, and no one comes out of there. Why don't you just go in and bust the joint, get a warrant? I'm only a cop, Max. <laughs> so you keep saying. <clears throat> Time to find out what was going on here. I didn't fancy booking myself in the presidential suite, so went looking for the basement. I wasn't too excited about the acoustics in this place. A couple of gunshots would sound like I'd walked in here with a goddamn marching band. It wasn't pretty, but I guess none of what was about to happen was gonna be. It was the question I kept on asking myself. How could I have been so blind? I was convinced the Broncos had gotten the wrong man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me.
Ufe. Was there anything they didn't have a grubby hand in? A few days earlier, I'd have called it a coincidence, but I'd written off too many of those already. The Imperial Palace Hotel was a five-star, bonafide shithole. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the busload and checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service would be better upstairs. Você não tá fazendo nada, tô fazendo tudo. Atira na cabeça! Patlatayım da şimdi ben oradan geçerim patlama atladım. Tam oradan geçeyim derim şimdi. Bakalım ne gelir patlaması. Ha şu aç. Acayip kalabalık bak. Şuradan gelsin bak. Ha adam da öküz gibi ben. O yüzden kurşunu çok sıkıyorum. Buradan alabiliyoruz. Bunlar bu olay hiç bilmiyordum yani. Hani alıyoruz alıyoruz ama bunu ne sanıyordum almıyordum.
işte üç yol mu hiç? Hmm. Bir tane daha olsa çok güzel bunu alacağız işte. Seç diyorum seçemiyorum. Neyse sıkıntı yok ya. Bu da sıra bu da sıra. Boşlukta atmamaya zıplamaya çalışıyor. Eymiş ya. Her şeyin boşundaki eymiş. Şuraya bak sık sık olmuyor ama nasıl bir şey ya. Bir şunu da sıkıyor. Ha şunu da patlatayım da. Bir de bana denk gelmesin abi çünkü hani ölürüm falan. I knew this thing was bigger than me, bigger than the Broncos, but I only had a glimpse of the whole picture. Like looking in the mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees, a bad caricature of a better man. Bizim karakterde kendi kendine konuşuyor ya. Aha. Nerede o? Şu. Alabiliyor mu? Bir daha bakayım. Aa alamıyorum. Ya olsun hani ben hikayeye bakarım yani hani altımış hani altımış değilmiş bir hiç fark etmiyor yani. Ufe, the deal at the favela was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the crush of Prado. Now we just had to find out why. Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. De Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Get them out of here. Go. Go. Wait. I said get. Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. I had no choice but to push on. I didn't understand everything, and I never would, but I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is best tackled with a simple solution. Bak silah yine. Bu bölümün sonuna geldik arkadaşlar. Diğer bölümde görüşmek üzere. Hoşça kalın.